It's here! It's here! Um, but it's an Allergy Quest. It's here. This is the reward for the 8th anniversary players. Um, this is a massive event. This is basically as large, probably larger, than a standard weekly event release. Um, so this is sweet. This is actually really sweet. This is a pretty massive amount of items and gear and, like, a whole bunch of quests. Um, but this is honestly, I think, bigger than the Halloween update that just happened. Um, I am recording this on the night of November 1st. Um, the event dropped at 11.57 p.m. on October 31st. Um, this event was promised to us before the end of October, and they technically delivered. <laughs> um, this item was kind of, this event was kind of surprised on us. I was actually getting ready to go to bed when, um, the event dropped, and, um, then I spent the rest of the night farming. So, um, that was not great for my sleep schedule. But, we're here, we're here, um, it's a thing, it exists. <laughs> and here it is, this is a nostalgia quest. I'm going to quickly run over basically every item in the event, um, roughly where to get them, um, what you're doing, and, um, some stuff about the event in general, and a few of the issues with the event, um, as far as items not being where they should be. Um, so, with that said, let's get on to it. The first items that we're going to get are going to be the Artix items here at the beginning. He greets you to the event and tells you about the event. Um, you get the Bean Twilly Morph and the Battle on Picture. Um, I can't really show you the picture in my house, because um, my house inventory is full, and the Bean Twilly Morph is not a C tagged at this time, so I don't want to keep it in my inventory, because I can't really, for inventory space sake, hold on to random AC ta non AC tagged items. Next up, we're going to go and we're going to quickly talk about the shop. We're going to get the big shops out of the way. Um, this is Yolgar. He has the dual wielding shop. There's a whole bunch of cool items in here. Almost all of these are um, AC tag non-member. Um, things like the Blinding Light of Destiny, um, the Big 100K. Um, oh, what else is in here that's uh, a big deal? Um, there's the uh, Sculpture Sword in here, D-Dog Sea Serpent. For a lot of you veteran players, that's a cool one. Um, Eternity Blade. Um, can you click on it in the preview? Some of the items you can click on in the preview and change their form, some you can't. Um, there's a whole bunch of them. This is one of the random ones that's not AC tagged for some reason. Um, the Grim Hero Blade, you can click and change it. Um, these are all dual wielded. All of these items in the shop are dual wielded. To, dual, to create them, you need the original version of the weapon, and you need the weapon reflection. You need the exact version of the weapon, though. So for a few of these, these... Um, being the, um, oh, where is it? Um, let's see if I can find it. Soul Reaper, is it? Yes, here it is. Soul Reaper of Nolgath. Um, so for the Soul Reaper of Nolgath, I have the combat Soul Reaper of Nolgath, the better version of the Soul Reaper of Nolgath. However, this merge requires the Soul Reaper of Nolgath. So for me to get this weapon, I would have to go back and re-get the actual original Soul Reaver Nolgath and then merge it into this shop, which I'm not going to go through that effort when I already have the Combat Soul Reaver. It's in my bank because it's AC tagged, but um, I'm not going to go do that. Um, a lot of people ha are having the same issue with the Blinding Light of Destiny, that the Blinding Light of Destiny, if you went through the effort of the Drakath Armor quest, when you get the Blinding Light of Destiny back, after completing the Blinding Light of Destiny quest, it comes back with a different name. It is technically a new item now. That Blinding Light of Destiny cannot be used in this merge. Um, so, if you want to get this merge item, you need to, and if you've already done the Dragath quest, go back and re-get the original Blinding Light of Destiny. Um, so I know some people are apprehensive about breaking down their Blinding Light of Destinies or Platinum Axes of Destinies or Pain Saws or those kind of items that are really rare and really hard to obtain um, into this dual-wielded version. But it is super cool that you can now get a dual-wielded Pain Saw. You can get dual-wielded Overfiend Blades of Nolgath. These are some pretty cool items and pretty rare items, um, some sought-after items 
that are now uh, dual wieldable. Um, dual Soul Rippers, um, Star Sword, Star Sword Breaker, um, Ugly Stick. Uh, you can get dual wielded unarmed. This one's a big deal. Um, the dual wielded unarmed is a big deal because the dual wielded unarmed is AC tag non member. Um, while it does not come with the unique fighting animations that unarmed does, where you punch people and kick people, um, because it is a dagger, the fighting animations have changed for it. But it is a way to get unarmed for cosmetic purposes, for transmog purposes, as a non-member, and that is a C tagged. So this is super sweet, and I might be picking this up myself just for the sake of having an unarmed that's a C tagged and that is non-member. Because right now I'm a member, but I don't plan to keep my membership around forever. So, um, one of the weirder items in the shop is actually the Vamp Wing. The Vamp Wing was a item available in the Quibble Shop, a really old Quibble Shop. It was the eighth Quibble Shop ever, which might be why they're bringing it in here, because eight, eight, eight. Um, this one requires ten weapon reflections and the Vamp Wing to make, and when you revert it, so you can change some of the items when you have a dual item, and I hope that they add the rest in later so people don't have to feel as bad about breaking down their plat Platinum Axes of Destiny and Blinding Light of Destinies and those into this. Um, when you revert it back to the single version, you have to pay a thousand ACs. So I don't know what that is all about, but um, there's a whole bunch of cool items. If you want to see the full list, I believe the full list is up on the wiki at this time. Um, and they may or may not be adding more items as listed in the near future. The quest to get the dual wielded um, weapons, the weapon reflection, is here at Yolgar himself. Uh, next we're going to talk to Zoom, um, and he offers the Beta Berserker um, armor quest, as well as the quest for the Dark Ranger corpse um, to get the Dark Ranger armor. The Dark Ranger armor is not yet in game. Um, it is, I believe, unfinished, and um, it is at the moment just a renamed version of the Ranger class armor. Um, but it will be color changed to dark, I believe, in the near future. Um, right now, you though, you can get, and I can't do this quest because I don't have rank 10 Sansi, so that's why uh, this is red. This is red for me. Um, if you have rank 10 Sansi, you can do that. Um, here is the Dark Berserker armor and the Beta Berserker armor. I currently have the Beta Berserker armor. But I have been unlucky with the quest and have completed the this quest probably 30 going on 40 times now and have not gotten the Dark Berserker armor yet. Um, I will be putting a picture of that here. Um, and you guys can look at that and decide if you want to go through the trouble. I know I'm going to go through the trouble with it, but after this video is over, I'm in fact going to grind for it some more. Um, but I've just been unlucky. Yeah, that guy has it. Um, I've just been unlucky and have not managed to get it thus far. Um, next up here in the um, Yold Yolgar Inn, we go to Cicero here and we have his Enchanted Rubber Ducky Helm. Um, the Enchanted Rubber Ducky Helm is a color custom hair helm that um, just the hair is color custom. The Rubber Ducky itself is not color custom. The Rubber Ducky will always be green. Um, I, uh, the item does say Enchanted. I don't know if this means that like the items from the... Um, from Warlock Shop, if they have a damage boost on them, I don't know and cannot confirm that at this time. If that is the truth, is if this is just me speculating on stuff, I'll put an annotation um, to confirm or deny this if we know at a later date. Um, but for right now, um, this, as far as I know, this weapon has no damage boost. This item has no damage boost or stat effects on it, but it's a cool item um, nonetheless. Um, next up, we're going to go over and check out. Um, the Zorbat... Oh, no, we're going to check out Mizumi. We're going to check out Mizumi, because there was a whole fiasco with Mizumi. <laughs> um, Mizumi's personal armor, still can't do it. Okay. <laughs> um, so, um, the Phoenix Cape, uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I'm wearing the Phoenix Blade as a cape here, and there's another one as well, that is the side cape. Um, and you get these by having the Phoenix Blade in your inventory, and then you can do these quests. Um, you get six magical phoenix feathers and the shadow silk. Um, when the event first dropped, the shadow silk actually was not in the loot table. The shadow silk was supposed to drop from the ninja spy, but was not correctly in the late loot table. And the quest was uncompletable for about the first 16 hours of the event being out. Um, so that drove several of us batty. 
Um, but it is out now. It works. Um, you kill the chest, you kill the kill the ninja spy, and you can get yourself Phoenix blades, um, or the the Phoenix blade capes. Um, the Mizumi's personal armor quest is not in the game yet. This looks to be just a placeholder until they can get the personal armor finished. I think they don't have it finished yet um, for whatever reason or another. Um, but it is not here yet. It looks like it's just a placeholder until they can um, give us the actual armor. Um, so check back at a later date. If it does happen, if it is updated, I'll let you guys know with an annotation. This is the exact same pet shop. Um, there's no unique items, no special things in here. Um, just the same, the same stuff that you've always been able to get in the pet shop. Um, I don't know, there may be a rare one in here somewhere, I don't know, but um, as far as I know, there's nothing unique about this pet shop, um, but it's here. Um, and the only thing you really come into this room for is these uh, these mobs. Um, we're going to go on to um, the magic shop. This is uh, Warlock shop. This is where you get enchanted gear um, and the enchanted gear quest to get the crafting regent. Um, the enchanted gear, um, there's not a lot right now, and, and they even say in the shop, Warlock's note, that, oh, they haven't completed the items, and it'll take time, and they will be adding new items soon. Um, return next week to see more items. So they'll be adding more items next week to the shop. Enchanted items are simply items with a stat damage boost on them. We don't know what the percentage is. We don't know what damage it boost is. We, we don't know yet. Um, if we do find out in the future, I will once again put an annotation. Um, but at the time, um, we don't know what the, what changes we have to these weapons, what an enchant is, but it does state that an enchantment is a damage boost against all monsters. So right now you can get the, um, Soul Rippers and the F Nolgath Phoenix Blade. We additionally have here in the center of Battleon Town in Nostalgia Quest, um, Valencia. Um, her shop is just the old school AC shop. Nothing new, nothing fancy in here. Um, her quest is for the Bejeweled Blade. Um, it's the old school Bejeweled Blade. Nothing special about it. We're going to go on to um, Metria. Uh, Metria's quest gives us the um, Ravana's armor. Um, and I will put that on to display that for you sexy people. Um, so we get Robin's armor here. Um, it's what it looks like. Um, for whatever reason, the helmet is not AC tagged, but the armor is. Hopefully that will be fixed at a later date. Um, but as of right now, the helmet is not AC tagged, and that triggers me a tiny bit. Um, but we have Robin's armor here. Um, that is all that she really does at this time. Um, we have Zorbak, and Zorbak is going to be the final quest giver um, that we're going to look over here and is going to be the quest giver with the most to him. Hmm. Okay. So, Zorbeck's first quest, the Sneveltron construction, simply just needs you to go kill Sneveltron a whole bunch to get his some items to build the Sneveltron armor, which is awesome. This armor is massive. Like, this, this armor just, like, breaks the games. Like, look at this. Your character is huge in this one. Um, the Sneveltron armor is massive, and the name tag kind of covers up the Sneevels. Um, I even have the uh, the Grumpy Warhammer just because I did have to kill him several times. Um, but yeah, you can wear the Sneveltron armor. It's huge. It's ridiculous looking. It's awesome. I love it. Um, we also have the Take Me to Pizza Hutch. Um, completing this quest um, may, may needs you to kill a whole bunch of mobs all over the Nostalgia Town Zone. A whole bunch. They are not 100% drop rate. Um, it is annoying. But you get it done. Um, you get the Pizza Seller's Apprentice armor, which is not currently in-game. It is a placeholder armor being held by the peasant garb um, at this moment. Um, it is not there. And they say it will be updated by Friday that the Pizza Seller garb will be in. Um, and this Friday is the Friday that it was released. That this item, this event was technically released on um, Monday, the 31st, and hopefully it'll be out, the, the Pizza Guard will be out by this Friday. Um, you also get the Pizza Hutch coupon for completing this quest, which allows you to purchase the Pizza Hutch house. 
Um, this is also not yet in-game, and I don't have any images or any snapshots to show you guys on that at this time. But um, the house, you can change this in for the Pizza Hutch house at a later date. Um, the armor, we're given a solid date on as we will get this by Friday. The house, we are not given a solid date on when we will receive that. The final quest here from Zorbak is the Dragonbone Key. Um, we get the Dragonbone Key by going and killing Big Jack Sprat a bunch. Once we get the Dragonbone Key, this will allow us to get an access into the secret area here for a secret boss. Um, it is in this tree. Go to Secret Dracolith Cave. Um, dead Dragon. You go in here and you find the boss Unfluffy. Unfluffy, Unfluffy drops a few items. One of the more notable ones is the um, Zorbak Baby Dragon Pet. Here it is the uh, skeleton baby dragon with a Zorbak rider on it. It is a 1% drop rate rarity. Um, the unfluffy pet, the unfluffy dragon also drops the um, Metria's secret room key. So once you get the dragon bone key, it will lead you into here, and then you farm unfluffy and get Metria's secret room key. You get the secret room key and go back to Nostalgia Town. And you use this to continue on with the super secret quest line here in Nostalgia Town. You go here, you go to Metria. Hi, Metria, what's going on? Um, you go into this little room. This room is, and Simultron is massive and blocking the room. Um, this room is. What put on this? And that. And unarmed. Okay. This room is the uh, secret lab in real life. This is the secret underground lab in real life. You see here that his, uh, Elena's reflection as she's taking a picture of the underground lab. Um, but this is the underground lab in real life. Um, there's all kinds of, as you mouse over certain things, there's all kinds of um, tags on items and little um, dialogue things all over the place. Um, in this room somewhere, I don't really want to give it away just for the sake of letting people explore it for themselves and kind of forcing people to um, to explore this. I'm sure the wiki has it on there, um, but I'm not going to spoil it in this video. Um, what exactly tells you what to do next, but I will show you guys what to do next. But I, I do want to leave let people explore this room and explore our little hidden tags themselves. Um, once you have found the secret tag that tells you where to go next, you continue on. Um, the secret tag will tell you next to move on to the magic shop and deal with Warlock. And this is the final part of the secret quest. Um, you, there is legitimately one pixel, and I'm going to have to work to get this here. There is one pixel in the center eye of the staff. That up oh, there it is. You click on and it opens Warlock's secret quest. You can find this quest before you have the key, but you cannot... Uh, do the quest without the secret room key in your inventory. So you need the secret room key to be able to do this quest. Uh, doing this quest needs you to kill these guys a whole bunch. Um, they are low drop rates for these items, and that gives you the Enchanted Archmage Staff, which is the staff that I was using for a large part of this video. It is the um, Warlock Staff, but color custom. The gem on it is color custom. Right now I have mine set to red, you can have it whatever you want. That's how color custom works. But you get that um, as the final reward for Nostalgia Town. Um, so the process of getting the Warlock's Archmage Enchanted Staff thing is going through the secret quest that needs the first secret quest from Zorbak that needs you to kill Big Jack Sprat to get a key, that then lets you get into a secret area that you then need to farm a boss for an item that they don't tell you exist. They don't tell you that the Metria secret room key exists. They, there's no quest that tells you about that. You just have to farm him and kill him enough until you find it, and then say, what is this? Um, so, secret boss drops a secret item that you then take to a to Metria and go into the secret room of the secret underground lab where you find a secret hidden note that tells you about how to do this and then you come over here and you secretly click on the secret pixel that'll open up warlock's secret quest that you do to get the secret enchanted archmage staff secretly 
Uh, so, all that secret D secret D secret them um, out of the way. This is the final reward for Nostalgia Quest at this time. Um, Elena has kind of said that in future years of anniversaries, they may update Nostalgia Town, um, adding more quests to it, adding more items to it, and really expanding it more. Um, but as of right now, this is the final reward we have. Uh, this event, I think, is really sweet. That There's a lot of content in this event. There's a lot of things in this event. Um, and this is really cool, um, honestly, to be able to see the old battle on the way that I remember it back in beta. Um, to see to see everything, to see all these monsters at the appro their appropriate level. That the slimes are level 1. That the, um, the Zardmen are level 3. Um, the Big Jack Sprat is level 5. Um, to see all these guys at their appropriate level, that the Guardian Tower still looks nasty. Like, all this stuff is is awesome. Um, that it really is cool. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys um, come out here and experience Nostalgia Town and um, enjoy all this and get all this gear. When you guys hit 8th anniversary, um, I know that not everybody is there, that there's only a handful of people who are at 8th anniversary right now. Um, and... Um, I, I am happy to be here. I'm happy to have all this gear, and I hope that I've helped some of you guys complete that secret quest, because, oh, that thing was awful. That was awful. I hated doing it. It was awful. Because uh, when we did it, when the event happened, the wiki wasn't updated yet. Um, we were actually working with the wiki guys to try and figure out how to do the quest. So um, the event was, is, was, a, was a bit tough was a bit tough with all these secrety secrets. Um, so, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at Nostalgia Town, Nostalgia Quest, I guess 2016? Because technically they say it might be updated. Um, if there's any major updates or changes to Nostalgia Quest in the future, I may make videos on those as well. Um, but for now, this will be it for Nostalgia Quest. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to subscribe or follow on your respective platforms, it'll be awesome. Um, I appreciate it. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.